What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today's Wednesday, May 20th, starting with the Trade Hacker question of the day. What happened with China-based stocks today? So one of the senators came out with a, whether it's a letter or a proposal, I don't know exactly what, and basically said any company that is China-based that's publicly listed on a U.S. exchange, it needs to be required to go through audits from the SEC and, and, and follow regulations of the SEC. Well, I mean, duh, right? I mean, that, that makes sense. If you're going to be a publicly traded company in the United States, you need to follow all U.S. regs and laws, right? Well, China has kind of been able to skirt that with their own auditors. And so I don't know if this is a uh, another ploy from Trump daddy, you know, with the whole reaction to the coronavirus and trade war and everything else. But regardless, this is something that kind of spooked the Chinese listed stocks today. So what what stocks that we trade does that really come into play with? Well, Baidu, Baidu is kind of the Google of China. And then Alibaba. Alibaba is kind of the Amazon of China. And so let, let's break this down. Let's look at a five-minute intraday chart here today. Looking at Alibaba, what you'll notice is actually Baidu was the one that I caught most of it on. So Baidu, I saw the news. I heard the news right when it came out. So I saw this big, I, I saw it right about here. So I saw this big flush and I thought, you know, this is a this is a good opportunity to short this puppy on a bounce. And so I shorted it kind of somewhere in here, bought some puts, and then had another big flush, made out well, got another bounce, shorted it some more, bought some more puts, and cut a nice little flush there as well. So made out really well. And, you know, things like this, uh, I've been doing a lot of intraday trading during this volatility uh, because, you know, if you know what you're doing, it's not that difficult to take chunks out of big moves when they happen. And so I'm going to be putting together a lot more details and criteria. Not sure if I'll do a full-blown course or not, but something that I want to share with you guys because it's it's been pretty insanely profitable over the last few months. Now, keep in mind, I mean, when you look at a situation, let's go back to a, a yearly chart. Now, you know, when we're having these big moves in the market, intraday, uh, being able to ch take chunks out of that market, like I said, is, is, I wouldn't call it easy, but it's very profitable the way that I do it. If you look at, you know, like 2019, when you just get these slow grinds higher with very small intraday ranges, it's very, very difficult to make money intraday in environments like that. But when you're having massive swings like we're seeing, you know, over the last few months, that's when intraday trading can be very profitable. So I'll have more to come on that. As far as our alerts go, we didn't we didn't have any alerts today. We usually have at least something, but we just wanted to let our positions ride and didn't want to add any new things. So no trade alerts today, no new positions. But what happened in the rest of the market? Well, S&P's up 50, Dow up 358, NASDAQ up 178, Russell up 35. We are still about 20 minutes until the market actually closes. And, you know, a lot of green on the screen. I mean, you've got, besides Alibaba and Baidu that I mentioned, a couple others, pretty much a lot of green. Another one that was down, we talked about announcing earnings was Target, down 2%. But it was... You know, it, it started off okay and then just, you know, fell apart. They had great online store sales. I didn't I didn't listen to the earnings announcement to hear exactly what happened, but they sold off pretty hard today after the announcement. Lowe's, same thing. It it started up on the day and then just sold off the rest of the day. And that's in the midst of a very strong market uh, with the different indices. Uh, oil up another 5%. I mean, this thing's been on a uh, little bit of a rip your face off rally since uh, since the day when down here when the futures went negative. Gold pretty flat today. Bonds up a little bit. Natty gas down a few percent. And so those are the commodities. Let's see a couple other big movers in stocks. I mean, tech was up. Travel was up big. You know, Delta, Expedia, uh, big tech was up big. Facebook up 6%. You know, Google up 2.5%. Uh, banks were up. Goldman Sachs up a couple percent. 
Citigroup up two and a half percent, Bank of America up three and a half percent. So big movers today. Uh, the trend is continuing higher in the overall market, but remember that could change very, very quickly. We, you know, we're still in this kind of consolidation box here. So at some point, this is going to break out. Now looks like it's going to go higher, but. You never know. We are gonna stay mechanical. We've got a little bit of short delta in our portfolio to help hedge from any vicious downside movement, but still have a lot of positions that'll make money as volatility contracts as well. So hope that was helpful. Everybody have a fantastic evening. I will see you tomorrow.